In this video, we're gonna look at how we use tables in Microsoft Word 365. So, first things first, what is a table? A table is a way of displaying data in a tabular format. So if I just go to insert table, we've got a table there, okay? So the first thing to do is obviously go to insert table and you need to choose how big you want it. So I'm just gonna say three columns and five rows. Okay, so I'm just going to put some random data in there. So I can just type as normal. So I can say um, heading one, heading two, heading three. And now I'm not going to put anything specific in there. I'm just going to write text in each of these cells. Like that. So I inserted myself a table. Now, if you want to insert a column, you can go right click, insert. And you can choose where you want it. So I can do a row above, a row below, a column left or a column right. So I'll stick a column right. And if I want to insert another row, I could do insert below. Or if you click in the bottom right cell and press tab, like that, it creates more rows for you as well. So that's quite simple. Now, what you might need to do is delete a row. So I might go, you know what? I shouldn't have had that many rows. So I can go delete, delete row. Or I can go and right click delete a column, just like that, very, very simple. Now, what else you might need to do is change how it looks. So you can do normal things like filling, filling in how it looks, like the colors. So I can go to um, design, look at colors, or I could just go simple and change the font to a blue color. And I could do the shading as gray, if that's how I wanted it. So that's more of a blue, actually. And then you've also got your borders. So I might want to have all the inside borders, so I can do all borders like that. And I might want an outside border, so I can do an outside border like that. And then you can start choosing things like the thickness as well. So you can say, right, um, I want to draw a table, and you can choose certain things you specifically want to line. Say, I just wanted one cell like that to be lined, I could do that. And then you can start looking at, if I just go back to yeah, you can change the thickness on here. So I could change how thick I want it, um, how I want it to look, and so on. Now what I can also do is add in things like shading, so I could have a colour or um, a certain style of um, diagonal lines or whatever. So I could do that, make that grey. Okay, and you see it's to me a thick border and it's put me the diagonal lines for the shading. Um, one thing you might want to do is merge some cells. So I'm just going to control Z because it doesn't look very good. I'm going to highlight these cells here, right click, merge cells. That makes that into one big cell, which is really, really easy to do. It's quite often something you're going to use. The next thing you might want to do is change how the different cells and the sizes are. So if I right, right click and go to table properties, I can choose how big I want it to be. So I could say my preferred width of my um, table is 10 centimeters. Press OK. I say that's going to be 10 centimeters. I can also change in individual rows and columns. If I say, right, I want these rows to be five centimeters that and it'll make them that size so you can change the settings there also, what you can also do is go to table design and you can look at some more of the presets of how things look and if you go to layout you can try to change individual things so i can say this cell wants to be two centimeters by five and so on what you can also do as well you can hide the whole thing and you want it to all be the same size so same width you can distribute columns which makes them all the same size and the same with rows as well so say if i made one of these was a lot smaller, I could distribute rows and it makes them all the same size again. Now the next thing you might want to do is change the alignment of the cells and things like that. So if you look here, you can choose where you want your text to appear within the boxes. You can also change the direction, so you might want it to write downwards, so horizontally or vertically, and again you can change the positions just like that. So I'm just going to put that back to where it was before. Now, the next thing you might want to do is sort of wrap the cells. So if you auto fit, 
you have a fixed column width, and say if you start writing more, you see it sort of wraps the cells and it stops you from making them wider. Because I've got a fixed uh, fixed width there, which is quite useful. So that's sort of the basics of creating a table. So we know how to insert a table, we know how to change the colours, the width, the height, and we know how to auto fit things, we know how to change the direction of the text, and we know how to add in borders and shading. So hopefully that was really useful. If it was, please by all means give it a like and subscribe and start looking at some of the other videos I've got on how to use Microsoft Word. I'll see you in the next one.